Hello everyone, welcome back to PJ's CAD class for jewelry. I would like to show you how to build this chain for today's demo. The command we are going to use today is sweep one, recall history, and array along the curve. Let's start drawing the curve on the top view. Please make sure your grid snap on the bottom right here is on. We are going to use a polyline to snap to the grid. And we are going to use the arc command to create those two arc here. Once you've done all of them, please join them. This will be our rail. Then we want to go to the front view. In the front view, we are going to create a profile. The profile can be any shape you like. In this case, we are going to create a one millimeter rectangular with the round edges. Since I snap to the grid, I can make exactly one millimeter and then I want to turn off the grid snap so I can move my mouse to create this nice curve on all edges. If we look at a perspective view, you're going to see the rail and the profile there. The command we're going to use is under the surface, you will see sweep one rail. Then you pick the rail and also pick the cross section, which is our profile. Enter. Then you will get this profile. Once I create one of the link, I'm going to copy with the gumball by dragging the arrow and also tap on all key. Release the mouse, then you will see a copy there. I'm going to use the gumball again on this arc. I'm going to click and type it 90 degree. So I will have my link going 90 degree to each other. Our goal is to have those two link follow the curve. First things we need to do is move those two link to the beginning of the curve and try to align the best you can. Let's take a look on the top view going to turn this to the ghost. I'll try to align them to the center as possible. So if you look at a the perspective, they are going to look like this. Before I'm going to array, one thing I need to click is record history here on the bottom. And we are going to zoom in with perspective view. After you've done the record history, the command we are going to use is leaving under the transform. You will find array. The fourth one here is a long curve. So you're going to pick up the object that's going to be array. Enter when it is done and select the path, which is the curve. I've, I've here preset for 22. Let's see what it looks like. You have it perfectly linked together. In some cases, they may not be the perfect distance that you want. Since we already recall the history, here's what we can do. If I move one of them, the rest of them will move because I recall the history.
if you happen not getting the result you want for example let's go back one more step we're using again is leaving under transform array along the curve this is the object you want to array this is the curve let's say at first try you try 15 then you're going to see they are not touching that give you a good idea say you are not having enough so you're gonna come back and then you could do one more time and try until you find the best number for them you can also try no rotation freeform and roll line and see what's difference on those here we go the chain for today's demo thank you for watching for more demo can be found at pjchindesign.com.